Australian cuisine, something I've always been interested in, because we do have bush tucker, we do have uh, elements of original cuisine, but we don't, we truly don't have an authentic cuisine. Uh, Rip-offs of every other country in the world and mixing them together and trying to do something is not authentic. Okay, anyone can learn, anyone can rip something off and change it a tad and call it theirs, but we don't have an, a fully developed authentic cuisine. But there are some exceptions to that rule. Because when you do things, you do them scientifically and historically. Nothing makes scientific sense unless it makes historical sense. Uh, history has a uniformity that's more scientific than science, if that makes sense. It's because it's pure science. History is that which has occurred in that which is. It's that simple. Uh, so if... <laughs> I'll rephrase that in a way. With the exceptions to the rule, there's something that all cuisines can uh, claim to own, and that's bread. That's where you start from. Simple things. Okay, so just because other nations have made bread it doesn't mean that if we make bread, we've copied them. It's, it's That's where it sort of starts. Breads, this, that, and then it gets more elaborate. That's not ripping off another country's cuisine. Okay, because one could argue we're the inheritors of European cuisine, and therefore it's our cuisine. It doesn't work that way. But, at the same time, there are universal foods, in other words, that it doesn't matter where you are, it's a part that's country's cuisine that's what they make it doesn't matter if somebody else has done it somewhere else that's what we make so bread to start off with our italian bread or our maltese bread or our panini or whatever you want to call it is damper so if you want to develop damper and develop it further that's where you start in, the, in an australian cookbook a proper australian cookbook you don't start with barbecue foods and things like that that are American or you don't start with American concepts you don't start with Italian concepts and make it out that this is an Australian cookbook and parade different families from around the world and call that an Australian cookbook that doesn't make sense it's a, it's an Australian cookbook insofar as these are the people of Australia absolutely but it's not a truly authentic Australian cuisine to do that we have to explore what we already have that fulfills that criteria of being universal, bread for instance, even butter, and work on that. And then all of a sudden, all the pieces come together and there's an, a uniquely Australian cuisine. Because we don't have that. It's Where do you go? What, what shops do you go to? That's an Australian restaurant. That's an Australian takeaway shop. Come on. And don't tell me, oh, burger, or the fucking milk bar, hamburger with a lot and chips. That's, fuck off. Okay. <laughs> And a fully Australian cuisine, something that people come to Australia to try, you know, and it can involve kangaroo meat, it can involve unique things, so we've got to be more creative, as opposed to responsive or adaptive, which isn't a bad thing, it's definitely an Australian thing to be, responsive and adaptive, but there has to be elements of true creativity, true ownership, and I think... Australian cuisine has a little to go with that, but there certainly is a lot of things in there that I fucking love to death. Uh, there are a few things I like more than damper and butter. Hot damper and fucking butter melting in it and just, oh my god, the saltiness of the butter and the damper and the damper and the butter and the butter with the damper butter and butter damper damper butter. Blah, 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 blah. I can go on. <laughs> when I was a kid, and I don't know if I've explained this, I used to, um, it, I had an obsession with bread. I didn't... I, my mum, the amount of times she caught me in the pantry, sleeping in the pantry, just in the pantry where the bread was kept. There were dozens of times where I'm half asleep and there's all this bre white bread in my mouth. I just wanted that bready taste. I was only fucking like seven, eight, nine months old. I what the fuck was going on? The kid does this and I'm there crawling. As soon as I started learning to crawl, it seemed to be all about trying to find bread. I just loved the bread. I just wanted to dip my gums and mouth in that softness. 
and damper oh my god now, why do we not explore our own stuff what, what is this seeming embarrassment that some Australians suffer from as if we should be we, we need to be exotic or something is it? oh fuck and then you've got white Australians on the other spectrum who are just fucking idiots and then you've got true Australians on the other side who are just blatantly ignorant and uh, we're not ignorant 